Welcome. Uh, my name is Aaron van der Koog. Uh, one of the professional Scrum trainers with Scrum.org and uh, founder of a startup called Bigenix. Today I want to talk about complexity. Uh, it's at the heart of sort of everything we do. Uh, Scrum's about solving complex problems, but we have, it's sort of, it's easy to misunderstand what complexity really is. Uh, what I want to talk about is the difference between complicated and complex. Um, we use those two words interchangeably in everyday language, uh, but they mean two very, very different things. Um, and for this, we're going to use a framework called Kinevin, which is talks about different kinds of problems. Um, and uh, I always use gaming analogies to explain these and the uh, obvious problems. Um, the analogies is, is tic-tac-toe. Uh, and this is about sort of figuring out what category, what type of problem this is, um, and then responding with a best practice. Yeah. Obvious problems are obvious because the relationship between cause and effect is obvious. Yeah. Everyone can see, uh, if I do this, my opponent is going to do that, and then I'm going to do this. Moving up to complicated, uh, the gaming analogy there is chess. And chess is a very different game. Um, your strategy of categorizing and best practices no longer works. Um, it is about what we call sense, analyze, and respond. The, uh, the difference is that the relationship between cause and effect is uh, predictable, but it's really, really hard to predict. Yeah. It's about experts and expertise and experience, sort of knowledge, uh, is sort of everything's used to uh, sort of help us with that sort of analysis. And then on the, on the other side, uh, the, the subject I really want to talk about today is complexity. And complex environments, what are they? Um, and the gaming analogy there is poker. And um, poker is a, a very different game than chess. And one of the reasons is chess is about predicting. Yeah, predicting what your opponent is going to be doing and sort of responding accordingly, um, while poker is a game about learning. Yeah, poker is a game about learning what type of, uh, what sort of what cards your opponents have and, and sort of the relationship to yours. Um, so again, very different game. Um, it's about learning and that's sort of what happens in complex environments. The relationship between cause and effect is impossible to predict beforehand. Uh, but it is uh, often obvious in hindsight. Yeah. So cause and effect is obvious, cause and effect is hard to predict, uh, but predictable. Um, here cause and effect is only obvious in hindsight. Um, the thing we do there is what we call probe, sends and respond. And probes are small, safe to fail experiments. Uh, and then we make sense of these experiments and, and we adjust we, uh, appropriately. Um, for all sort of people that have been sort of using Scrum for a while, uh, will know that this is very much that sort of inspect and adapt. So that's basically sense and respond. Inspect what we're going to be doing and then responding sort of accordingly. Do we want to do more of it or do we want to do less of it? Yeah. So complex environments are environments where we cannot predict what's going to happen beforehand. We need to learn. And the way that we learn, uh, the best way to learn is to try a small experiment. Um, and that's sort of everything we do in Scrum, right? Is, is about that small thing. We break up a big product development in sprints. Uh, we make up a sort of sprints in, in sort of daily scrums. Um, what are, like, everything is about that sort of do something, inspect and adapt uh, sort of accordingly. Um, and that's exactly the, what, what we should be doing when we're facing with complex problems. Um, and those kinds of problems are the problems we're having more and more of. Yeah? We used to do a lot of complicated stuff when we were doing um, uh, automation of existing business processes, very complicated stuff. Most of the issues we're having now is introducing new products to uh, new sets of customers where we don't know what's going to happen. Our markets are much more volatile than they were before. Yeah, so a lot of the problems have been shifting to this particular domain. Um, and it's time we embrace empiricism and inspecting and adapting. Thank you.